Hey, what's up guys? It's Slayden. Uh, I've seen quite a few people on the Bead Sprite subreddit asking about how to get started uh, with projects once they've decided on a sprite or whatever, how to pick colors or how to uh, start actually working on placing beads, uh, asking people if they just eyeballed it or if they use programs or whatever. So I thought I'd make a short little video on how I personally do it, and there's lots of different ways. I'm going to show you how I personally do it. I use a program called GIMP. You can get it at GIMP.org completely for free. It's very similar to Photoshop. Um, basically, I've got this small image here. It's 96 by 96 uh, image of Kingler that I downloaded from Bulbapedia that I was going to show you guys. So I'll open it up here in GIMP. And if you ever use any kind of photo editing program like Photoshop or anything similar, it'll look really familiar to you. You've got your little toolbox over here that has all your little buttons and stuff like that. And you've got all your stuff here at the top. So here's Kingler. We're going to go over to View. I'm going to zoom in, make this a lot bigger. There we go, nice big Kingler to work with. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to also go to View and Show Grid. Now I'll pop a grid on there. Since the grid's too big, go here to Image, Configure Grid, and drop it down to 1. And there you go. Now every single one of these cells is one bead. So there you go, you got your project going right there. So what you would do at this point is just, uh, what I do is I eyeball it, I don't use any kind of program to tell me, you know, this color is this color bead or whatever. Um, you can do that, I don't like to do that because I like to look at it. Uh, I know what these Pokemon look like from watching the show as a kid and um, if I don't remember exactly I'll go and you know try and find a YouTube clip or uh, whatever, try and remember what they look like or find some images because uh, sometimes these things flat out lie to you, these little filters or whatever that try and make it a color or they're, they'll look weird blown up. A lot of people uh, have these images, they blow up and they try and follow it exactly and you've got these weird colors that don't make sense once they're blown up and you see them in bead form. So instead I just kind of eyeball it and I'd be like, oh well you know, this is kind of a dull color, but I know that it would look good and it would look like the actual Pokemon if I used, say, Hama Dark Red. And that's what I would use here. And this color, I'm going to use Hama Dark Orange. And this color, even though it looks kind of like a peachy, pale color in this, I'm going to use uh, Perler Orange, which is just a light orange. And what you end up with is I've actually got that Pokemon done here. There you go. Same colors I just said, Hama Dark Red, Hama Dark Orange, Perler Orange. There you go. And I just opened it up in GIMP, threw a grid on there, uh, and then eyeballed the colors. Some some of it has to do with, you know, um, working on it, you know, you don't get the colors right the first time, trial and error. You just take them out and do it again, or whatever. Eventually you just get a feel and you really don't have to do a lot of trial and error because you just can look at something and know yeah, I think this color will fit here, and it just works out. So I hope to see you guys on the subreddit. Thanks for watching my video.